Tedros. Tedros, Tedros. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. The weekend. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Okay, y'all. So, hey, my name is Carly and I'm here to do a quick little review and tell you my thoughts on The Idol. By the way, HBO, you should be ashamed of yourselves for allowing this to be on our TV screens. <laughs> Honestly, mm, I'm glad that this was canceled. So not only were the first two episodes feeling like filler episodes, but they also didn't even tell us who the heck most of these people were. I didn't get the name of the black woman who was over there helping and hugging Jocelyn the whole time's name until episode three. Destiny, hello. And I honestly wish that Sam and Abel did not write her to literally only be that person to give one-liners. Badass one-liners. And Haim. Haim keeps talking about killing people, guns, etc. But you haven't pulled it out at all yet. And I'm waiting on it. But honestly, I don't even want to get to episode four, five, or six anymore after what just happened in episode three. The weekend's performance. <sighs> Abel, you honestly cannot act. I wish you the best, but you should have taken some acting lessons before you even started with this. The script, non-existent. I thought that they were honestly improvising half of the things that they were saying because it didn't make sense with the story. I feel like if they would have kept the woman director instead of hiring Sam Levinson, then the storyline would have been much better. The plot actually having a plot. That's a part of storytelling. There was no storytelling in this at all. And it felt being a watcher, a viewer, not even like a critic or anything. It felt like, it felt extremely uncomfortable for me to even watch this. And I know a lot of y'all have expressed the same sentiments to me in my DMs and saying, yes, I feel extremely uncomfortable. I don't wanna watch this show again. I honestly don't wanna watch it because I know the potential that it could have been amazing. And from the script, to the characters, to nothing truly developing. I'm disappointed because I know that The Idol could, could have been an amazing show to watch. And I feel horrible for Lily Rose Depp playing Jocelyn because not only is she being tormented in this part of playing and acting in this role, but outside of that, you know, I wanna know how she was able to get into this character and how she felt portraying this woman. Cause this happens every day. This isn't something that's, oh, this never happens. This happens in Hollywood. But I felt like it could have been portrayed much better on screen within the story of the idol. I feel like the only pro of the show is the acting that Lily Rose Depp is portraying. I feel like she has a lot of potential. And my con is the writing. Like, was this going on during the writer's strike? I don't know what the heck is happening, but it seems like this is strictly from a male perspective. And honestly, I don't want young women to be watching this. I don't even wanna watch it. So I really truly don't want young women to be watching this and thinking that this is okay for a man to treat a woman this way or this is how things should go. Because as you all know, we've watched shows like this before, not as bad, but even Jersey Shore loved it but also thought that we can party, get crazy, get wild, get wild, you know, whenever we were 10 years old and that just was not realistic. So I feel like it's just bad representation, honestly. At the end of the day, I don't wanna be watching this. Unless The weekend or Lily Rose Depp pays me to watch this, I'm probably not gonna be watching this again. So I'm gonna watch other people's reviews on this from now on, but stay tuned because I do plan on reviewing other shows and movies. Peace.